There needs to be some. Someone needs to get punished this episode. I'm already gotten punished. I have a hemorrhoid. Oh, you are a hemorrhoid. Still need to take Scooter out of that intro. Yeah. Well, we discussed this before the show. We needed to punish. We needed to have a grand punishment Mm -hmm. for the show. Like we needed to put all of our resources together and and punish one of our co-hosts in the worst way possible. And the only way that I can think of punishing someone is to just bring them back to the show. Can we do that? Uh, you're Fuck, not I can't swear anymore. getting rid of me that easily. Oh, it's Scooter the whole time was here. You yeah, thought. He never left. <laughs> you thought. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I am back to clickbait. I have cut short my tour with Amazon because I missed you guys so much. Um, I'm smelling BS. I had to return. Also, like I saw five in tree, the first episode (laughs) I leave, what the heck are y'all doing? I I mean, I I, I get heated whenever like stuff comes out. I mean, if Brandon's going to talk smack about the Steelers, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ham. I'm sorry. I have no excuse, Scooter. I acted I acted like an eight year old or a ten year old that just learned the, the potty Adam words. Got in trouble. Adam I got did. In trouble at home. Yes. That's all I've been I'm for the last back, 20 years. His I'm mayor back. Called I'll be him. with you guys for the duration of the football season, unless I get another opportunity. And then I'm out. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> unless McDonald's <laughs> hires me. Unless yeah. so, mm-hmm. something else happens. Yeah, is the punishment mm-hmm. scooter it, the scooter's being punished because he has to keep doing the show with us? Is that mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good punishment. Being, you have to do clickbait punished. sports once well, let yes. me, let me for the rest life. of your life. Until <laughs> so you mm-hmm. die. You need a <laughs> plaque behind you that just says, Don't forget you're here forever. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. I did and miss the other guys. punishment, Scooter, is you that you weren't that. here last week to dunk on me for the Cowboys beating oh. the. Actually, that was this week. So that, was that was this week. Good. We will oh. talk. He all is about here. That. Can we? Oh, <laughs> never mind then. <laughs> I got to say, since Scooter has been gone, the Cowboys have been doing really well. Yes. So if yeah. they lose yeah. this week, we know who it is to blame. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, well, he ducks out after week one when they lose badly to the Buccaneers. We're all ready to dunk on him. And then it comes <laughs> back conveniently when Cooper Rush turns out to be a pretty He's good like, quarterback you know at their two and one. Never I mean, mind. I don't know. I don't We're know. Back. It's a conspiracy. I don't even hey, think that's the real company. That dude, okay, Cooper so Rush. For those asking what really happened, I will break it down for you. I was tapped to be a host for Amazon. <laughs> All Thursday night football games. I was one of the late additions to the group. But for a lot of these programs, when they get going, especially when you're a late addition, they don't really know, like, what they want, what they're looking for. Long story short, they didn't really need a host for this program. They did not need a host. So gotcha. I'm not doing that anymore in that capacity. It was agreed upon. But there probably will be some opportunities down the line where I am working with Amazon uh, and Thursday Night Football, and as well as some of these people up here, because I was pitching you guys for the first two games I was doing. For, uh, I think, I think it, actually. Do, do not pitch me. I'm Starting pit, I'm next week, I will be taking Scooter's place at Amazon Prime every Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in two weeks. Way to finagle that, Brandon. I will be at the Broncos Finesse. game next Thursday, so... Speaking of finesse, maybe I'll see Amazon. Wait, what's Jeff Bezos like, Scooter? Oh, he was good. He was like Bezos. real chill. You know, uh, we never get got to see him personally, but like from a distance. Oh, okay. Yeah, from a distance. We, Holograms. Uh, Is there a Jeff Bezos yeah. hologram wherever Amazon goes? Oh yeah, NFTs. Oh, yeah. 
All types of things. All types of things. But for the first two games, it was dope. I got I can't lie, like it was a dope experience. Uh I got to go through like there it is. Oh boy. There it is. (laughs) Oh boy. The tree is in Kansas City. I met Dwayne Bow. We like went through a whole tour. They get the historian of the, the team was giving us information. Pretty dope. Then in Cleveland, I got to meet the creator of the Dog Pound, Hanford Dixon. Nice. So that was a, a fun time as well. Wolf. Tell me why. At the Ain't Bengals game, a there's a guy who's above me. He looks up. I look up. There's a guy. He's He knows me from clickbait. He oh. knows me from clickbait, and he buys me a blanket because he sees Ooh. I'm cold. <laughs> Bro, this is real. This happened. No right, more shivering. No more shivering, baby. I got you. Tag oh, the the clickbait blanket here. that has to be incorporated into the show. Yes, it does. I still have it. I have I've got one right here. Uh-huh. Well, that's weird, Adam. <laughs> oh, I tried to do yeah. the Somebody disappearing. Say, yeah. uh-huh. I have one I around my legs. Yeah, well, who is weird, hosting but... today? Because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. I host. Who's hosting? Because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. I will. I, I bet you do. Cowboy Sorry, boys. Think? I'm cold. My blanket's just always on my knees. Listen, Ooh. can we I get to the lead story? Charlie gets that golden ticket to the chocolate factory. I got a golden ticket. Well, I got a golden ticket, laddie. <laughs> Dude, Grandpa Joe. Who's the worst character, Grandpa Joe or Jenny from Forrest Gump? Because Grandpa Joe is lying in bed, doesn't have a job, can't support his family. But as soon as his kid gets that ticket, as soon as that golden ticket appears, he's doing pirouettes. He is grittying in his (laughs) house. He's going to the chocolate factory. But then Jenny, let's not talk about Jenny. She just used Forrest she no. didn't even tell him he had a kid for how many years? Four years. Didn't even get him involved. Did lots of drugs. Cheated on Forrest. And then conveniently died whenever Forrest. I don't know. I think Grandpa's the worst person. Yeah. Uh, what are we talking died. about today? All right. What? Listen. In terms of running style, Forrest Gump was most like uh, Chris Johnson. CK, CJ, 2K. Yes, he was a starting tailback for Alabama. He was a kick so returner, remember? Yeah, and a kick returner. All right, let's get to the major story today, the headlining story, which is – what's up, Nick? Uh, Tyler Columbus, ex-Bronco, tweeted today about his time with Josh McDaniels. I'm going to cut through these pretty quickly spare you the details first thing he said was that after they traded jay cutler josh mcdaniels addressed the team and said fellas don't worry about the qb situation i can turn a high school qb into an all pro this is an actual quote from josh mcdaniels who was the starter after they traded kyle orton baby kyle Kyle orton did he turn kyle orton into an all pro yes I just did a video about Brandon Marshall, and Brandon Marshall can, had a thousand yard season with Kyle Orton. But if you were a Broncos fan watching Kyle Orton, that's when you first learned how incredibly boring football could be. Kyle Orton was like a warm up for the last Cowboys five legend. years of what Broncos mm-hmm. fans have watched. So Josh McDaniels, wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong. Cowboys legend. Um, Kyle Orton. Mm-hmm. Uh, he now, threw a pick. What Orton. happened in his last game, Scooter? Kyle, uh, didn't the Cowboys have like a playoff spot on the line, and then Kyle Orton like threw a pick? Yeah, Kyle that's Orton what happened. Hasn't been on the Cowboys in forever. <laughs> Collective memory. All right, Tyler also said that uh, after two days of being over practiced, they got ice cream. <laughs> Oh, no, ice cream was an ice cream social. <laughs> oh, dude! I, I uh, hope the I hope the ice cream truck came in with the entertainer just blaring like do 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 do. Yes, this one's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> this one he, number four, where he says they had twenty five slogans painted on the walls, and you had to know exactly what the slogan said. That sounds very fratish, right there. If yeah, you've ever been, honestly, if you've been in a fraternity, like you would. 
forced to memorize things that you didn't need to really know need to know and that yeah. sounds very frat boy jock honestly uh, i hope McDaniel. one of those slogans i hope one of those slogans was here i sit broken hearted i came to shit but only farted that is the wow. only thing you know scooter's back right you i know just, but that, that was the, the slogan you can't and, and, you don't even know how to censor yourself scooter I, let him have I don't, it i don't censor myself okay Scooter, Jeez. tell him about. Hold on, I, 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 I have a holy deity. Protect me. Okay, there you go. All right, <laughs> pull out the religion card. Okay. Uh, another one was uh, Columbus says during his exit interview, he asked the coach if he was all right. <laughs> <laughs> the coach conducting the interview, he was like, "Hey, are you all right? Are you traumatized by Josh McDaniels?" And then the last one was. Uh, he did give him credit for knowing the exodus and O's, but you won't hear any. Uh, he just didn't know hand, how to handle people. And uh, I guess the big debate here that we can finish on now is, does anyone think that he's learned a damn thing? Well, from... let me let me take this a step further okay. because uh, you go ahead. DJ Williams slide. was on the uh, I Am Athlete podcast today. Uh, DJ Williams, former Broncos linebacker, and they were talking about uh, Josh McDaniels. And DJ Williams was giving Josh McDaniels credit, saying that he was uh, the smartest coach he had ever been around, and he knew the game better than anyone. And when they were able to go out there and execute and do exactly um, what like he told them to do, like what they'd studied – like how to play certain looks. He's like, he was right. Like that's, we would win that way. We started out six and zero, and he had Until, this timeline messed up, but oh. <laughs> cause while Josh McDaniels was there, he got caught spying on other teams walkthroughs. <clears throat> so he brought that part of new England with him. <laughs> and he was like, after he got spy, got caught spying, uh all of a sudden he didn't know he, how to read it was yeah it was like his best friend that he brought over uh to do the spying he threw that guy under the bus and then you know he eventually got fired um but it was about like he didn't know how to deal with people right that and oh go ahead sorry no that's just part of like being a head coach like you got to have both of those skill sets does he call the plays in oakland right now or is it the offensive coordinator who is know. the offensive coordinator? Chat, do we know who calls the plays for the Raiders? Who is to blame for uh, this? Coordinator is Mick Lombardi. Mm. Mick Lombardi. Well, yep. I wonder if he's related to Vince. What mm. was your experience like, Brandon, with McDaniels as a coach for you guys? It was, I mean, at first it was great because they the Broncos did start six and zero, and they beat the Patriots mm -hmm. in that yes. six and zero run. Yeah. And like at, this was before every single Belichick coach like had failed. There mm -hmm. were a couple. There was uh, who was it? Romeo Cornell and Charlie um, Weiss was really bad. Charlie Weiss Charlie was Weiss. like they haven't really worked out. But Eric Mangina, man, yeah, it was, it was hard though because the Broncos were moving on from Mike Shanahan, who we all loved, but it kind of just felt like it was time for time. a change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like. You know, they were winning, but like McDaniels came in and like he trades away Jay Cutler, trades away Tony Scheffler. Uh, they eventually Brandon trade Brandon Marshall. Now, before he left, he drafts, you know, Demarius Thomas and Eric Decker, and they started and to Tim like Tebow. He, yeah, he moved up to get <laughs> Tebow, but uh, yeah, it was, was happy about tell, that. You Great could decision. tell things were bad, and then it's more like the longer. He's been away, and now the way like athletes feel comfortable talking about their experience in the NFL, honestly, because there's so many like platforms and podcasts, and it's just like incredible. The like this Tyler Columbus story doesn't feel like news at all to me because I feel wow. like I've heard this stuff so many times about Josh McDaniels. Like we just know it here, so it, it's just funny because you know the Broncos are playing the Raiders this week, so it's kind of like a big thing. But yeah. He was in, he was horrible with people, just absolutely horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And wasn't Speak he supposed oh. to take the Colts job? Then he Yes. <laughs> he yeah, that's where he backed out. Big ding on him. Mm. Big I wonder. Ding. 
I wonder what uh, the Colts franchise would look like these days. Honestly, if he probably took be, that job, it'd be a mess. Uh, I mean, they dodged a bullet, wouldn't you say? I mean, Frank Easy. Reich, for as as hot of a seat that he's sitting on, is still a better option than Josh McDaniels. Like, he just doesn't. I don't know. McDaniels, at least now, hasn't. He's what five for his last five and twenty. Five and twenty. Yeah, his last like Josh McDaniels 25. is the Lane Kiffin of the NFL. Oh, oh. that's so. Mark right Davis there. is going to do a press conference throwing oh. him under the bus in a couple. Yes, weeks. he might. Josh McDaniels is the me of YouTube. Eh, I don't know about five that. I feel like you have good for reputation. Every twenty, you at least that's have a good right. reputation. Five, you are you're not hated. Five five wins for every twenty videos. I'm coming off back to back ten out of tens, guys. It's not looking yeah, good over yeah. here. Right. Good old ten point. out of ten. The self esteem oh. crusher. Oh, YouTube right does there. that all the time, man. YouTube all right, I'm, I'm trying to remember this like player it. though that um, McDaniel's cut without uh, even talking to him. While is you that, do that, I kind of want to. I kind of want to just talk about the games this past week. I don't I know if why. you guys witnessed any of the games that happened this past weekend. Yeah, I prefer not to. Talk I'm excited about to talk about what transpired this past. I don't weekend. know what you're talking about. Um, but let's actually start with Brandon because I was watching. Yes, Jalen Hurts is still trash. We'll we'll get into that. Whoa. Let's let's talk about the Broncos. What did you see from that game? Because I was worried for you. And matter of fact, nice. I've been worried for the Broncos every game they played this season. I don't know how your heart's doing, how oh, your blood pressure is. It's talk about, to it, us. it probably beating uh twice as fast uh, as your scooter. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this offense yet, with this team yet. We're waiting. We're just waiting for something. It's like we keep hearing it's going to be it's, <laughs> mm, the Raiders are the team where like if the offense doesn't look good, I'm going to be in panic mode because the Raiders like their weakness. Their defense is not good. They don't have a great offensive line. I think our pass rushes is, is getting better. But yeah, it's, I mean, if I could sum up how I feel. It's your sandwich. It's called the Danger Witch, and it's dangerously good. Be careful, though. It's spicy. Whoever not did spicy. Did y'all see, did y'all see who yet. edited that? They need to go to jail. No Whoever more. made that. Just no more. My Did y'all see the edit of that where they put the it? Noises. The Batman music. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. It's the beautiful. Batman. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so the good. Eating noise. It was scary. Oh, yeah. It was scary. Uh, I did have a segue, by the way, um, that doesn't work now because it's you can't remember where we were. Remember, Josh McDaniels got caught cheating, right, in Spygate. Allegedly, somebody was filming Cincinnati mm -hmm. Bengal or Dolphins oh. practice mm -hmm. and then posted it on Twitter. So not no affiliation with the with the Bengals, just some rando at the stadium filming their walkthroughs and posting it on Twitter. Did y'all see this? Yeah, yeah. he just switched it up and started just doing everything with 12 men on the field. Like, just Don't worry. Say Mike like, McDaniel, hey. a genius, guys. I did see this. I did see this. Um, I love this, man. I love this, man. I think McDaniel, not McDaniels. Did y'all... Did y'all watch that shows. game, by the way? Like, that was a wild game, too. I can't believe the Dolphins came all the way back like that. Did, were you guys a part of Did you guys see this? Over the Bills? Oh, yeah. We're talking yeah. about two different things. We're like, we're like, you know, the Raven things. scooter from yeah. two weeks ago? What, which game are we talking about? I don't even know anymore. Did y'all see that Super Bowl? Where the Giants, the dude caught it on his helmet. That was awesome. <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah. That was I, really honestly, you talk about David Tyree. I prefer the uh, the guy that caught it in the end zone, beating the Cardinals for a Super Bowl. I prefer that. Who is that? Emmanuel. Um, no, it's no, called Sant your mom, but okay. also known as Antonio Holmes. Still on. Still uh, my on mom the caught four of touchdowns. The games being in the played, though. Tom, sure. I was able to catch a little bit of that Packers game. Mm. Um, th to me. That was a win-win situation, right? Mm -hmm. Either mm -hmm. way, Tom Brady's losing or Aaron mm -hmm. Rodgers is losing. Mm -hmm. That's a W mm -hmm. in my book. It mm -hmm. just so happened that the Packers were able 
to squeak this one out. What did you see from the Packers that you liked? Well, I mean, the best part about it, it was that we did what the Cowboys couldn't um, and win. So I would <laughs> think that I missed you, Scooter. The, but the, honestly, like their offense was clicking for the first two drives and it was looking really good. And then we fumbled and then we didn't do anything the rest of the game on offense, which again is a movie that we've seen a lot. But that defense, that defense looking good. And kudos to the Cowboys because their defense looking real, real good too. I mean, that, good God. I, I actually felt bad for Daniel Jones, a man who's going to make more money than I will ever make. But because he had like two seconds maybe to throw the ball before Listen. getting annihilated on almost Listen. every play. All right, are we going to do this now? All right, Scooter, you've gotten your wish. You've manipulated clickbait sports into talking about this game. Congrats. For what you. you uh, look, look, Daniel Jones, like, I, I've i watched him for now. This is being he had fourth, a good game. fourth year. I mean, he played a good game. He ran. Good they, game. He he pulled out his, his stops. He ran for first downs. He, he did not make any dumb throws besides the one that clinched the game. <laughs> but that was really wasn't terrible. Like his pocket presence was he knew he was going to be under pressure and he was like, oh, crap, I got to get rid of the ball. He sensed he sensed pressure like you never see him do that. So he played well. He played like a starter in the NFL. Now, the Giants offense, like I knew the Giants were going to lose when every time Cal the Cowboys needed to get a first down, it was like third and three, third and two. They're winning the battle of possession where they were just, they made it easy on themselves. They were able to get five, six yards off first down. Let me ask you, let me see. You're going to win the game. If you do that, let me interject because when I was watching the game and you tell me how you were feeling for the longest time, it just felt like the momentum was with the giants. Everything that could go wrong for the Cowboys was going wrong. We see Trayvon Diggs interception go right through his hands. CD lamb wide open. Hits him in the chest, drops yep. the pass. Yep. Uh, yeah. I had an eerie feeling about this game. We are literally about to let the Giants beat us. Were you feeling the same way during this game? Yeah, you know, like in 2008 when the Giants had to go to Texas Stadium and uh, Patrick Creighton had a wide open third down reception where he could have just run into the end zone and instead he started thinking about popcorn or something before the <laughs> ball got to him and he just dropped the ball. That's how it felt with CD. Like I could not believe that he just yeah, dropped that pass. Here. That was now cool. I will give the Cowboys credit. They blitzed a lot. They blitzed often. They got to Jones. They took away the run. Even on Saquon's touchdown run, he had to make three guys miss. Like they really contained Saquon the whole time. The other thing is Cooper Rush. He's got to get a uh, player of the game because he never made a single risky throw. He never made a bad throw. He never made a mistake. He didn't make a single mistake. Honestly, if Dak were there, they probably win by four touchdowns. But anyways, I, I just think that Cooper Rush managed a good game. And, you know, the Giants are back, you know, licking their wounds and saying, why aren't we ready yet? And so here's not. the thing with Cooper Rush. Okay. My gosh. Let's, let's just start here. He's the never Cowboys won. have dumbed down the offense for Cooper Rush. Let's start there. They literally are not doing anything advanced. Why? Because we're playing the Giants. There's no yeah, way to do anything advanced when you're playing a team like the Giants. And even next week when we play the Commanders, there's really not that need well, to do advanced stuff against this these teams. Now, no. you look at what we're doing in the run game. Zeke and Pollard combined, right? It's not one or the other. It's a combo, and they work well as a combo. They got a whole bunch of running yards. Cooper Rush didn't really have to do that much. So when Dak returns, I look for them to incorporate a lot of these basic things that we're doing. Run the ball. Let the play action open up for Dak. And I think we'll, we'll be a little bit better because we were trying to do a lot with that. If you look back, even against the Bucks, you look at what we were running. There's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So if we yeah, just I don't get think back I don't think you played a. I don't think you're like that much. But I think you played the Bucks again this week. You would lose by the exact same score. I don't Here's think what I like about Cooper Rush. What Here's the thing: nobody, not a single person, has mentioned about Cooper Rush. What's that? He's saving 
your head coach's job. <laughs> Mike McCarthy's job, and yes. you guys are going to get more yes. Mike McCarthy because mm-hmm. of Cooper Rush, because it looks like Mike McCarthy's doing a pretty good job coaching right now. I will yeah. say, uh, if it were Jason Garrett, we would be 0-3 right now. Oh, you'd probably be too. And I believe that. Yeah, I do believe that. You, we have to give Mike McCarthy some credit where it's due. Yeah, this yeah, man you're right with a now. backup yeah, quarterback train. Mm-hmm. has won two games mm-hmm. with a backup quarterback. Mm-hmm. We're probably going to win against the Commanders. That's going to be okay. three games. If you lose to the Commanders, now are you calling for McCarthy's head? Now, regardless, McCarthy can win a Super Bowl. He's out next year. <laughs> For if Sean Payton. Sean Payton is available. Do you oh, understand well, what I'm saying? It does not matter what Mike McCarthy does. If Sean Payton is available, we're hiring him. Okay. Sean Payton Our come to the owner Broncos. is Jerry Jones. <laughs> he does what he wants at all times. He does not care. This man fired Jimmy Jones. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Jimmy he, d- he doesn't like McCarthy like that. Mean, Jimmy, Jones. Not like- Jimmy, Jimmy Jones. Jones. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Jones. He fired Jimmy Johnson. So mean. look, if he can fire Jimmy Johnson, he most certainly can fire Mike McCarthy. Uh, last thing I'll say about the Giants game. Give us Kadarius Tony. All right. If y'all are just going to sit this man. He was hurt. Injury, he was hurt. Give him to us. They need him now because y'all Sterling don't know Shepard. What you're doing. You are wasting elite talent. My gosh. Are you signing Daniel Jones at the end of the year? Yes or no? Uh, I think they might. If Say they make the playoffs by some miracle, which I, looks pretty not in the cards, they would just franchise him and then punt on that. They're definitely, if, if Saquon keeps doing this, they'll give him a second deal, which mm-hmm. is the worst possible thing that they could do. I mean, honestly, the worst possible thing, which, but, and we'll all call for it. Well, every Giants fan will be like, pay Saquon. And as soon as he gets hurt, we'll be like, what are you thinking, Shane? Signing a running back to a second. Again, like the Cowboys defense, like their pass rush looked really good against the Bengals, looked phenomenal against the Giants. Like with the Giants, who are supposed to have like an upgraded offensive line, like is it their O line is just not good, or is it that the Cowboys' pass rush is that good? So Neil, you, Neil well, looked pretty rough. So, I will tell yeah, you for the Cowboys great. defense. Um, yes, we lost Randy Gregory. Okay, and he's balling out in Denver. By the way, I've seen like this man has so many pressures in Denver, but we we've already got this man's replacement, and his name is we Sam like Williams. Great. Sam Williams is putting in work on the defensive end. So it's it's like we have Sam Williams. Then we got this guy named Dorrance. Dorrance Armstrong, who no one believed in but Jerry Jones, and is paying dividends now. There's a couple guys that no one really believed in that Dorrance. Jerry Jones was like, I don't care what you say. We don't need to get another receiver. Who cares if we traded Amari Cooper because we got Noah Brown. Right. And a lot of people were like, who's Noah Brown? We need to get other people. Noah Brown's been balling out of control. Dorrance Armstrong, no one wanted to resign him. He got a sack in the last game. He's got so many pressures. So what's happening is these players who Jerry Jones has bet on are now coming to fruition. Van Der Esch isn't sucking it up. He's playing with speed. That he that wasn't there last year. You couple that with the that's, best defensive player in fishy. the game. That's fishy. You don't just get speed. Yeah. Well, on the well what happened was his rookie Testing, year, testing his rookie year he was fast. His rookie years. year he was fast. All of a sudden, he's not fast anymore. Now it looks like he's back to having a step that he had before. So, mm, I don't suspect. Know. I smell drugs. What about that Steelers game, though? Wait, 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 wait. Tom had something to say. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's, let's not talk about the Steelers. So, was that two weeks ago now? Five? So, two weeks ago, you may notice uh, there is a beautiful helmet. In the back of Five Point Vids uh, videos, yes. there. Nice it's shiny. a fantastic looking helmet. It's a nice shine. It is a really nice helmet. Nice shine. So signed by one Lawrence Taylor, as uh, the good old people. Lawrence Taylor. That's it. Best at cocaine. Left tackle. The good old people at Auction of Champions, small business auction house, uh, have decided to send us a couple of things. And today, literally today, I just so happened to get my package, which is smaller than five. Ooh, there, I said it. You happy now? Uh-huh. You happy? Right. Mm-hmm. You happy yeah. I said that smaller than yours? Much smaller right. than mine. I mean, smaller, dude. He's Asian, man. That's uh, yeah. there. We go. Well, so, I'm half Asian. Uh, 
I received the top half an Aaron Rodgers sign mini helmet. Nice. Got a little, oh, wow. uh, got a little, a little, little certificate of authenticity. That's right. Uh, so this fun fact uh, is going to get auctioned off for charity tomorrow. We'll talk about that later. But good people over at Auction of Champions, uh, you check them out. They got some great auctions going right now. Right, Perna? Mm-hmm. Oh, As yeah. he tries to figure it There you go. So like you might see other auction houses. This is a small business, so they're supporting us. So we're supporting them, showing them a little bit of love. And uh, you head on over there. And I got to say, like, because they're a bit Can of a Can you click on business, auctions? Yeah, you, there we go. That's how you rock yeah. and roll, because that you know, you're able to get Top things left. for there you go. Like, yeah, yeah. cheaper than you would usually get them for. And make sure you sign up using what code so we know Use that the code clickbait. Yes, that's where you Clickety say you baby. came from and you say that they sent us. And yeah, then click you, on that and let's see what's in things. there. Yeah, look at that. There's a Josh, Josh Allen, Allen jersey. You got a Roberto yeah. Clemente to a baseball helmet. card, man. The yes. heck? I'm about to go Ron. bid on some of this stuff. Yes. Ron Make, you told him to use the code click to say clickbait. Clickbait. Right? Gotta go. There you got go. Go. Let him know. What's Ooh, that? a CD lamb right there. <laughs> a hundred and seventy. Come with a drop football? right now. <laughs> Somebody bid on football. Wow. No, it comes with the one hand oh. catch. Ooh, a, a Joe Montana Notre Dame. Oh, by the way, everything is also verified. By the way, it comes yes. with a little authenticity oh, yeah. on there, and you can just put it. Who's out. that helmet signed by? Good stuff. Mine in the back. This one. This evil. Oh, oh. Randall Cunningham. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Only eighty-five on that bid right now. That's a steal. No, yeah, that is a steal right there. So okay. check them out. I've met we've I've, we've met the owner personally. Great guy. So uh, a family business, and here at Clickbait, we are a family of. We're family of misfits and are, degenerates. Uh, family of duty heads. All right. Um, what should we talk about? <laughs> oh, uh, talk we, about should that, talk, uh, we should uh, talk about the, the Packers game. Steelers game that ah. took place. <laughs> Actually, speaking of which, uh, let's talk about your experience with Amazon in that game. Because I think <laughs> that's the only thing we're talking about. <laughs> well, I will say I saw that catch. Right, by George Pickens. Oh, I saw the George Pickens catch. catch with my eyes. Like That's I right literally on. saw that catch Actual. IRL, and really? I saw it. When I saw it, I didn't realize how good of a catch it was. Right, because it was like bang bang, happened real quick. I was just like, everyone at the stadium was just like, "Did you, did you see that? Did he catch that?" Yeah, um, like... But here's what I'll say about <clears throat> Cleveland, the Browns, and the, and that whole experience at that stadium. Number one. They love Nick Chubb. Okay. Uh, I've met Nick no Chubb. Surprise, he's a beast. At the Tweet Suite college football game, college national championship. He's dope. Georgia. Yeah. Everyone loves Nick Chubb. I see why. Okay. This this guy might be he's a top five running back in the league. Easy. Oh, he's a beast. Easy. Top three. Easily. Uh, so we'll start there. Nick Chubb. Can you believe that Nick Chubb, Sony Michelle? And Todd Gurley were all in the same backfield at Georgia. Mm-hmm. That's absurd. That's sick. It is, um, it is crazy. It is crazy. But, anyways. Tree, what did you see from that game? What are some positives that you were able to take away from that L? Well, from the L, um, yeah. the fact that George Pickens is a beast and they should throw to him more often. Um, positives otherwise, like our first half wasn't awful. And the negatives, I mean, it's it, it's it's deflating. Jacoby Brissett and Nick Chubb had great games. Without the dust, TJ Watt and the pass rush, the Steelers' defense looks really bad. Secondary's having issues. I mean, you're expecting Akello Witherspoon to cover Amari Cooper. And they're lucky Amari Cooper had a couple drops and a flag. Otherwise, that would have been uglier than it was. And you can't lose in those shoes, baby. <laughs> so uh, tell me, what are we expecting? What's the timeline uh, for a QB change? What, what are we thinking? Uh, Here's the thing about the Pittsburgh Steelers and what people tend to forget. When Ben Roethlisberger first got his job from Tommy Maddox, it wasn't because Tommy Maddox got benched or because Ben Roethlisberger or any of the fans clamored to be the starting role. He got that job because Tommy Maddox got injured and Ben played well enough to usurp the role. The only way that Mitch Trubisky is going to lose that job is if he gets injured, unfortunately. And then we get to see if Kenny Pickett's any good. It's the Steeler way. They don't fire coaches. They don't really bench anybody. It's just 
their contracts expire or they retire. So that's why Matt Canada. I'm not bringing my hopes up towards Matt Canada being fired. His offense is honestly pretty useless. Trubisky can make some decent throws, but he's way too tepid. And the problem is, like, he's a quality backup, but he, if he's required to be a full time starter, you're going to have issues because unfortunately, Trubisky has. I mean, limitations. watching him live in that game, it it appeared like he was playing very well. Like he was escaping a lot of mm -hmm. pass rushes. That's what I mean. He has those flashes. So, but long term, not the guy. I don't gotta, think, as I said, I, I saw it in Chicago too. He's more of a quality backup type. Comes in in a pinch, does a job or two, and then if you're requiring him to be a full time starter, you're going to have problems. That's fair. All right. All right, I got a topic that I, I got two topics I want to talk about. Of course, for the game tonight, we have some a little extra juice between Tua Tagovailoa, mm -hmm. Eli That's Apple. That's the <laughs> that was what? It's Tagovailoa. No. Tongovailoa. Tongovailoa. It's like your tongue. I got to put tongue the tongue in there. Yeah, I got yeah. a tongue punch. The it's like DJ Yuway on Galena. Tua Tonga Vailoa, uh, Tyreek Hill, and everyone's favorite toast, Eli Apple. Apparently, there's some beef. Eli Apple was talking some smack. Tyreek Hill clapped back. And then Tua said, basically, if Tyreek is one on one with Eli, he is throwing him the ball. What do y'all think of? This Actually, type, this type of banter pre -game. two is like if the play is called to go to Tyreek and he's one on one with Eli Apple, I'm probably throwing him the ball. That's it's like the saying. most like Tua answer I think I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If, if you're a receiver and I can't see you, Dolphins I'm wide receiver throw you the Tyreek ball. Hill talk some trash this week ahead of the matchup saying he couldn't wait to face Bengals cornerback Eli Apple. I can't wait to go against you, Eli Apple. I owe you, boy. I owe you. Cheetah <laughs> is here. Okay. Uh, you know, straight line speed, Tyreek Hill is the fastest player probably yeah. in the NFL, right? Like, so I don't. Straight line, just any like, speed. Nothing but crossing routes. That's all I do. So, so like, that's cross. a bad matchup for anyone to go one on one against Tyreek because you got to give him 10 yards, right? And if you're gonna... Eli Apple, why are you talking trash at all? Like, Eli Apple's always talked trash. Yeah, he, that's it's the that's his game. Like, look what mentality. happened after the Super Bowl. Eli talked all that smack before the Super Bowl, and then he got buried. <laughs> so, who do you guys think wins that matchup tonight between Apple and Tyreek oh. Hill? Reek, Reek. I think Tyreek's going to be bobbing for apples at the county fair and come out with gold. So I say Tyreek. Well, I actually think that Apple will make some plays tonight. I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm going to be the Mike Goldberg or uh, Golick or whatever. Remember when Mike Golick and Greenberg, they would just disagree on stuff so that they could disagree. I'm just going to disagree and yeah. say that Eli Apple might, he's not going to get a pick, but he's going to bat a few balls down. The mm -hmm. only way the Eli Bengals does have been know playing about batting some balls. terribly this year. The only way I see the Bengals winning this game truthfully is if the Miami players, their heads are affected by this hurricane, really. And they're worrying about, like, their family and people like that. They're misplaced. Because to me, Miami has the advantage going in here. Uh, the offensive line for the Bengals. You I'm get starting to wonder, out. though. I'm really wondering if Miami spent too much energy beating the Bills. Like, because that was an ugly, hot sticky game where they had to do everything and now they got to turn around and play four days later and take on a Bengals team that's on the rise. I, I like the Bengals tonight. On honestly. the rise? How are the Bengals on the rise, though? They One win and they're back to 500. They just beat... Uh, who'd they play this weekend? Who'd the Bengals beat? Who'd they get their first win against? The New York J-E-T-S Jets. The Jets. 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 So they got to play a junior varsity team, got a confidence booster, now they're going after a playoff team like the Dolphins. I don't know. The 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 Bengals offensive line is terrible. They tried to bolster with Lyle Collins and it's just mm. not working out. You know about that. He's it looks like he's sort of regressed since going to the Bengals. Uh Joe Burrow, you know how Daniel Jones was running for his life? That's how Joe Burrow's been the first couple of games. Like it's 
it's not good for the Bengals right now. Tom, what they, they do you did better against the Jets? I, I haven't heard uh, enough from Tom today. I said on GPS, I think that the Bengals are in a good position to win this. I think that the Dolphins are beat up right now. Um, I know two was on the injury report. There's a couple of other folks that are on the injury report as well. Um, I picked the Dolphins to win, but I would not be surprised whatsoever if the Bengals are able to sneak one away at home. Okay. All right. Brandon, All what right, are your thoughts? Tom. Yes. Yeah, I think the Dolphins are the better team, but I feel like it's a weird week for the Dolphins. Uh, yeah. That I think that game was taxing. Mm-hmm. Um it's just like a short week and a short week where I think the Dolphins had to leave early to Cincinnati because yeah. of the hurricane. Like it's just all of that stuff. And I, for Thursday night footballs at this, like at week four, it's when teams are really starting to feel like guys have played football games. So yeah, it's just, it's really hard to go on the road for Thursday night to win. And I think it's kind of just a weird week for the Dolphins. If it were Sunday, I would feel very good about saying the Dolphins will win. Now I feel like it's it's a toss up, and I'm kind of leaning yeah. towards the Bengals because well, I you think shouldn't I really Bengals. bet Thursday games. Honestly, listen, I'm I'm looking at the spelling of Tua Tonga Vailoa's name. I do not see an N yeah, anywhere. In his it's name. a pronunciation. Like I don't, I don't, like, don't tell me about that. Da, da, da. Look at the Clemson quarterback, DJ Uyong Galele. If you want me to pronounce it that way, put the put it T A N G. O V I O L O A. Okay. Tree. It's Let's Samoan. Tree, what know. are you thinking for this game, this Thursday night football game? Thursday night football game. I'm thinking Cincinnati's going to pull it out, mostly because Miami's pretty battered. I think they played a brutal gauntlet of a game against Buffalo. Both them and Miami are injured. Miami exhausted a lot of their resources. You're coming in on three days' rest, which I still find ridiculous, to be completely honest with you. And you're coming into a Cincy team that's riding some form of momentum, and they're hungry. So I think Cincy pulls it out. Aren't we all hungry? All right. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is that everyone for Cincy but me. So everyone's saying Cincy but me. Yes, that's a common occurrence on this show. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's yeah, for yeah. the Bengals. I picked the Dolphins to win in my Pick'em League, but yeah, oh, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I would go with the the Bengals as a. Okay. All got right. The Dolphins. Let the record show I got the Dolphins tonight. Here's one thing that happens every year in the NFL. And we were talking about this the other day is somebody emerges as the front runner for the MVP in the first three, four weeks. By week 16, they are like dead and buried. Remember a couple years ago, it was Chef Russ was the MVP through like four weeks. Uh, one time, Philip Rivers was being called. It's your sandwich. It's called the Danger Witch, and it's dangerously good. Be careful, though. It's spicy. Be careful, everyone. It's spicy. That's the spiciest. Uh, last year, Kyler ever. Murray was, the, Ooh, you know, being talked about welcome. as the MVP. J Mill. Uh huh. Who is the early front runner for the MVP that will be disappeared by week? Well, let's just talk about the front runners, period. Who's in the conversation right now? Lamar. Lamar Micah Parsons. Jalen Hurts. Joshy Allen. Jalen Hurts. I'd argue Tua. Hurts is the guy, though. Tua. Tua. Tua is being talked about. Those are two guys. Tua and Hurts are guys I will not expect to be there. I will say – Let's talk about Jalen Hurts for a second, because I got a whole I bunch oh, you got of a whole people bunch of in my mentions. Mm-hmm. Every time I talk about the Eagles, <laughs> my mentions explode. Listen, Jalen Hurts is fraudulent. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. Right. This oh, man Record is it. just surrounded. The Eagles have done a great job. They did what the Cowboys were unwilling to do this postseason. They surrounded Jalen Hurts. With premium talent, Devontae Smith, balling out of control. We knew this was going to happen. He did it at Alabama. This is to be expected. Mm -hmm. You go and look at the throws Jalen Hurts is making. They're average. These are not dimes. These are getting the ball in the vicinity. The receivers are doing the work. They are. So did did you see that pass to to Devontae Smith before the second half? I'd say that was was a dime. I'd say Hurts is dealing. Let's say he's dealing. 
If I had yeah. to give the guy a contract right now between Hertz and Dak, it would be Hertz. Exactly. I want to be on record for this. You'll find out exactly what all these Eagles fans are about to find out. The first three games that they played were not against premium competition. You're looking at games against terrible opponents, the Vikings included, the Lions included. These guys... He's not doing anything. Speaking let's see what he does against the Jaguars. Okay, let's see that, which I'm surprised to even say. Yeah. Let's see what he does against the Jaguar. Let's see what he does when the Cowboys. He's going to smoke them. Are you kidding? Oh, boys, okay. He's going to uh, okay. Trayvon Diggs is going to give up 400 passing yards by himself. 400 he, passing yards. Yeah, He's going to be going season, for that home run ball getting burnt whole like season. Eli Apple Look, without bro, sunscreen. I'm telling you. Hurts when do the Eagles play the Cowboys? Week yeah, six. when is that game? Week Ooh. six. Fraudulent. Eagles Week are fraudulent. Six. When they we gotta do some type of wager right of there. Of this pass rush, mm-hmm. it's Welcome. a wrap. It's Welcome over. Back to Micah the show, Parsons Scooter. is in the backfield every other play. Oh, and I need this to happen too because I've been talking way too much trash about this. So <clears> I'm gonna need week six. It's going down. I mean, dude, you are talking as much smack as Eli Apple does. And we all know what happens when Eli Apple talks smack. I think mm-hmm. you and him are pretty We all know what happens think... when Scooter talks trash. Oh, yeah, man. You, I remember. Didn't you say that you weren't losing to the 49ers in the playoffs last year? I don't recall that. What no, I no, no, no. You said we God, have it on tape. Call. Play the tape. He's testifying in front of Congress. I don't know. I believe the fifth recall is saying I did Micah not Parsons those will get 25 funds. sacks this season. I recall saying that. And like he is Brett on Farr. pace to get just that. That's what I recall. I recall saying Cavante Turpin will get four touchdown recall. returns or punt returns. He was close. We were almost at one. Okay, so we'll say Another uh, MVP candidate. This one will tickle <laughs> Brandon's um, fancy. Amon. How do you say his name? Amon. 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 Egyptian god of the sun. All right. Another story coming out. Christian McCaffrey did not practice. Is that a reason to worry, or who cares? Does anyone even care? I mean, at this point, are you – I mean, at this point, I think Carolina's just hoping Matt Rule gets fired. So if they have to lose in the short term, I think that's a sacrifice they're willing to make. The Panthers should trade Christian McCaffrey right now. They should trade him to the Steelers for – um, oh for like God! A you want him to go pick. behind that O line? He's gonna oh, die even faster. He's gonna die. Uh, hey, it'll Raji be the greatest Raji? three plays we will ever see out of a even get running three, back. Three, like he might step around the field and explode just into glass. <laughs> <laughs> just shards everywhere. I got, we'll take I got it, we'll take Kiki Akwonwu too. They need to trade him to the 49ers. Let's boom. Preview. Put him with Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch, uh, guys who knew him as a child. Who can actually <laughs> utilize a running back? And because uh, they knew him as a child, yep, that makes a difference. <laughs> I knew that little Christian was going to run the ball so fast. Yeah. While we still have some time, I think we should all just go through and preview our games, like our team's games for this. Well, I, I did want to talk about one more thing. I, I remember right one more thing. Five. Yes. Oh, two things. Two things. The butt punt. Can we talk Ooh. about the butt? Punt, glorious. I mean, both where like, does this rank in terms of rectal accomplishments in the <sighs> NFL? They've won, though. I think that's even more impressive. They yeah. still won. They had that because if they lost, it would be on highlight reels. Yes, instant ever. meme. It would be the new buff. Yes. But because they won, it's like, yeah, it was really funny. And then Mm -hmm. didn't Debo Samuel catch a ball like between his cheeks like last year? Like he rolled over. I think it's in my Instagram where he caught. So there's that. There's the butt fumble. There's Jimmy G stepping out of the end zone. Yep. Then Jimmy G stepped out of the end zone. Does that exonerate? Yeah, that actually actually worked out for Jimmy G because if not, yes. Yes. But they still lost. But yeah, yeah. Still but still, yeah, I mean, G Dan Orlovsky got Kurt, vindication. Ben Kurt, you Dan Orlovsky's tweet. Yes. 
Yes. Did so Dan Arlovsky, does that exonerate him or does that just put him in the same category? His is still worse. Yeah, it's like category. way worse. Same category. <laughs> he was like four yards out of bounds. Yes. Yeah. Orlovsky was almost hit the uh, goalpost. Like that's how badly out of bounds he was. It was. Really yeah. Bad. There was some. What was the? There was a really like bizarre stat that had the similarity between those two plays. Oh my god, I can't remember it right now. Oh man, it's something that tied them together really well. I the if two, I the Owen, sick, Dan Orlovsky, and Jimmy Jesus. Yeah, it was like yeah. something about that game. In the teams at the time, I don't know. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks yep. for sharing, Brandon. What was hey the guys, other, let me just remember that time that that thing happened. And what was the yeah, other thing you wanted to that say? Was cool. Five? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's no, no, it was that. It was it was Jimmy G running out of the back of the end zone. Let's uh, preview our throw. games for this coming week. Yes. Yeah. Treat. Who do the Steelers play? We play the New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets at Acrisure Stadium. Zach Wilson is returning for the New York Coming for your football mamas. team. And yeah, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This smells like a trap game where the Steelers mm-hmm. inexplicably play down to their competition and they randomly lose. Because unfortunately, uh, I've seen this movie many times before. doesn't matter if it's Tomlin or Cower or Chuck Knoll. We always seem to randomly lose like the least – explainable game possible uh, this might be it i don't see it zach wilson coming back he's gonna be rusty they're gonna throw a lot of stuff at him no Mike pass Tomlin's rush though, have him t- coached no up. Watt. Gets to win. Yep. orlovsky lost 10 to 12 that's what it was the oh, no, that game was 10 to 12 yeah 10 to 12 and that was the difference was that stupid yeah. i knew it was good <laughs> Well, Ooh, that was the difference in the um, Broncos game. That yeah, two points I mean, ended up being yep, clutch. It is. Mm-hmm. Who are the Broncos we'll playing know. this week, Perna? Yes. Raiders. Raiders. Ooh, it's the rivalry game. And it's in Oakland or in Vegas or? Vegas. Yeah, it's in Las Vegas. What are you? Are you guys going to be the first Mile team? High West. Are you guys going to be the first team to lose <laughs> to the Raiders, Brandon? What are we thinking? If there's a chance, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I am so scared for this game. I'm I'm like, it's weird. I'm going between like being overly confident about this game and yeah. incredibly paranoid about it. it <laughs> that's feels, what like, I was. Oh, go yeah. Ahead. A team that's 0-3 that has a lot of talent on the roster, which the Raiders do. I hate them. I'll talk all the crap to them. It just feels like the Raiders, they're 0-3, but like, those games they've lost, they've left a lot of plays on the field. Like, Close should have been points. Now the Broncos mm-hmm. have done the same thing. I trust the Broncos' defense, but yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm scared, guys. I'm holding my tongue for the week. Let's put it this way. Okay, your tongue of Viloa. If you had to that. give a score prediction, it. you got to give a score prediction. What are we thinking? Oh. It's like it's going to be like 13 to 12 or 30 to 29. <laughs> do you, do you right. really expect both the nice Raiders range and the Broncos to score more than 20 points? Yeah, it's nice like range. all of a sudden the Broncos defense is not going to work. So uh, <laughs> they're going to give up points. But for some reason, the offense. No, no, no. Really I'm good. thinking the offense. You expect Nathaniel Hackett who had to hire a game manager. <laughs> Because he doesn't know what he's doing, could score 20 points in a game. He hired a game manager because he's going to call the play so good this week. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to call something. I'm going to call the pizza guy, and he'll deliver you to the wrong. What do you guys office. think about that real quick? Like, what do you guys think about this man hiring a game manager? Because Love it! Because I saw some fan reaction online. Some people were like, look. Pretty bad look. At least me. he understands his weaknesses and is yeah, not letting it affect you. the team. I mean, that is you mean true. He, he, yes, at least he knows that he's a bad coach. Is that what you want him to recognize? <laughs> like the dude had to hire Laugh someone now, to fellas. keep him Laugh from now. himself. Is the like, gift that, that keeps on ridiculous. giving? That's why I mean, he's. I think coach. Brandon, if the Broncos lose, you have to eat a danger witch, and you've got to eat it <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, they're that good. That's not really a punishment, man. I've had yeah, the you've got to recreate the danger witch 
on it's this good. the, the yeah, didn't you the have it rush? scooter at the draft yeah it's really good like it it's be not careful. Spicy. what's spicy about it's it what's not, spicy. Spicy. It's not what, spicy. Yeah, it's not the last oh, time I ate what's in it day. what's in a danger witch i don't it's like hold on let me get it well, they have yeah, like a combination corn. of peppers and how much corn is in a danger witch it's too much is it very corny look at everybody's having so much fun yes pepperoni salami black forest ham provolone cheese and bacon on italian herbs and cheese oh that does sound good tom who are the packers playing uh, the New England Patriots without Mac Jones. Ooh. So we're going oh, with Brian w. Hoyer in Lambeau. Okay. If we don't yeah. win. Brian like Hoyer is and... still in the league? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is like his fifth time with New England. <laughs> what yep. the heck? Yo, yeah. Uh, it's like I'm hoping, God, 27 I, to 10. Like, I'm mean, not sure Mac Tom, Jones Tom ruled out yet, though. Is I don't think yeah, he's yeah, there. But I, don't I think mean, he has a high play. ankle sprain. Like, unless Bill's just like, ch -ch -ch, get out there. I don't know if it's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I so. it's not in Lambeau in January. I think you're safe. This is one sure. of the few games that I will actually be rooting for the Packers. I cannot stand the Patriots with or without Tom Brady. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. Wow. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Scooter, who are the Cowboys playing? We are hosting the Commanders. This I'm looking at as a must win game uh, <laughs> only because they're so bad. They're so bad, Everybody. and like it's a divisional game. This game matters towards the end. You look at the Eagles' schedule versus our schedule. The oh. Eagles play way more easier teams. That's so what they, it is. I mean, look if you look at their schedule, they play easier teams. So we need to make sure we are beating all of yeah, our they easy do have teams. To play the Cowboys twice, and the Cowboys don't get to play the Cowboys twice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Think about it. But I like what we're doing so far. Cooper Rush, we're not rushing him. Okay, we're we're letting the game come to him. See what you, did see what, you see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, see but I look for us to treating him gingerly. Touchdowns. Carson Wentz is still a quarterback for the Commanders. I don't think he finishes the season as the starting quarterback for the Commanders. Just being honest. Carson uh, Wentz. Yeah. Wow. Carson Wentz. Was all they mean. invested in him? I think. Yeah, maybe he gets injured. I mean, Sam, Sam Howell him. actually had a good preseason. Oh no, so. yeah, because Sam Sam Howell was lighting it up, and yeah, his no, future. They like didn't invest a lot in Carson Wentz. He's done after this season. Two third round picks. So it's I'm surprised they even paid that much. Yeah. <laughs> Idiots. I like the Cowboys by two scores in this game. Who do the Giants play five? Uh, we play the Bears. And I think well, it's gonna that's be so bad. It's it's gonna be an ugly game. You know, the Giants' oh mo this year has been hang around, hang around, score late and win. This is gonna hang be an around. ugly, ugly game. I think that you know, like I I, I said that they would not beat the Cowboys, and I was right. And uh, I think that this is an ugly, ugly win for the Giants. They they better win this game. It's not I mean, that it, they should. It is they better win this. If game. you I, give up three hundred yards, to Justin Fields. Yeah. If you give up three hundred yards to him, you may as well contract the franchise. Right. I mean, Fields has struggled. Uh, even with this new system, this new stability that they've, you know, brought in, getting rid of Matt Nagy, they thought was addition by subtraction, but Fields still looks lost out there. They've got to make him look. Also, well, I mean, that's the thing. The only way they're going to beat you is through the run game because their run game in the past two weeks has been phenomenal. Well, yes. it, it, it's very dependent on if whether if Leonard Williams comes back because he was sorely missed against the Cowboys. That's a, a, a lot of the reason why um Not the yet. cowboys won so yeah. um oh my god hold on i gotta <laughs> anyways i, will I, be I have a little something for the giants in this game in fact i will be rooting for the giants in every game going forward except when they play the cowboys the second okay. time because uh you guys are terrible i'm not afraid of you guys whatsoever and i just want you guys to get a worse draft pick so oh thank you good luck tell us how you really feel man okay um all right, we got to wrap up the show. Do we do the countdown? And all Bye, that? Do you want to wrap again? I I do not want to rap. You should <laughs> rap. You should. I'm not a, I'm not a should, rapper. Dude. Do it for Scooter. I, I'm a rapper. They call me Jacket Pants Shirt Man. That's what they do. I got a jacket nope. and pants. They and call you Van... Wait, we're doing the countdown. Oh, we're doing the, Yeah, we got to yeah. do the countdown. I'll wrap up. So really, what? but we started. What? Mm -hmm. uh hey, Broncos country, let's ride.
20, 19, 18, 17, 13, 15, 4. What is going on? Well, that that Wilson will bend you've your been mom way and eating she's a whore. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got $35. Oh, I've got uh, guns in my head. I got $117.74. 147. 127.93. Oh, it's a coming on the tree. I lost again. 205.96. 205.96. All right. I saw some good punishments on Twitter. That's not fair. What, what were, <laughs> y'all remember any oh of the ones? Oh, my gosh. I Listen. lost last week. Yeah. Listen. Where's the elf costume? God. Um, it's getting shipped on Amazon. Are I still got to do my punishment. Whenever it's okay. I'm five, to five loses, can we get him to face paint as that giant yes, fan that's what i was hoping yeah, for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 we got it we gotta have that we got that, that. we got brandon with the dangerous sandwich or whatever it's called danger witch don't danger with danger witch. you can disrespect yes. russell all you want but don't disrespect his sandwich <laughs> okay does that's tree way, have to recreate <laughs> does we tree have to recreate witch. ken dorsey's tantrum <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Uh, but it's got to be something like Steelers related, don't we think? Mm. Yes, chat. Mm, help think us out. Something here. We need a punishment mm. for five. Somebody, not not no. I did not lose. I only got thirty five dollars. Somebody <laughs> set, had a good idea for tree, and I've already forgotten it because I don't book. Please keep forgetting that anything. idea. We need a uh, punishment for five. Uh, oh, tree. Did I say five? We're done. Tree should have to recreate George Pickens' catch. <laughs> no, he's gonna break. Tree, out three I broken can't, ribs. I, I can't stretch that far. Are you kidding me? Tree will miss the next four. Tree parentheses hey, broken I ribs. Like, I like will miss that. The next four. I like that. You have. I, to I, really I would love create. to see how many takes it would take for yes. Tree to make a one-handed catch. You like can, and then it I can don't have be... anyone to throw it to me. Yeah, that's true. You can who, throw it to yourself. Who could you get throw it? Yeah, who would you get to throw it to you? By the way, this was posted on Twitter. <laughs> you guys work fast. <laughs> by Nick GFX. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you love that blanket. Recreate well, the right. blanket. That's funny. Somebody's got to punt a ball into Tree's arse. Ooh. Oh, recreate, recreate the Tree's got to go up to a stranger and just be like, can I punt this ball into your No, ass? they have to punt no. it into his ass. They oh, gotta Tree's got to get a ball yeah. punted into his ass? Well, I do like the idea of Tree having I'm to down. recreate I'm the down for the recreate punch. the George Pickens catch by any you, means possible. You can do the O Canada, like just saying O Canada, but just replace it all about getting rid of Matt Canada. Ooh, yeah, there you go. That, that's something a little that's more not bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's have him sing disrespect the entire nation of Canada by making <laughs> I'm, fun I'm of I'm that. always good for dissing Canada. All right, that's fair. All right, let's o do that. O Canada. That's, you don't have anyone to throw you, you a replace football. replace the lyrics. Name Canada. With Matt Canada. Matt Canada. Oh, the offense, offense is such trash. It's beautiful. All right, Brandon, what you got coming out in the near future? Uh, streaming I, the game tonight or anything? I or? dropped yeah. a Brandon Marshall Forgotten I Beast episode. Doing pretty Highlighting well. just how really, really good Brandon Marshall was. Please, somebody freaking watch it. Dear God. Tom? What you got? Uh, tonight, streaming the game, reaction afterwards. Packers, okay. Patriots, roast tomorrow. Tree. Uh, donate to the fundraiser. And uh, now I'm going to give yes. this away too to another winner. So, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Um, mainly um, sports ball yesterday. I'm probably going to do a shit post about Notre Dame probably tomorrow. They're okay. So bad. Scooter McGroots. Notre Dame is so bad. It's It's every year. We are starting the Madden series. We're going to be playing through every Cowboys oh, game. That'll either be streamed tomorrow or sometime on Saturday. Be on the lookout for that. Can and then college every week, Cowboys every week, and we're getting back into the Game of Thrones now that I'm not traveling every week. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout. Can you recreate all the Cowboys play playoff losses in Madden in each version of that Cohen's? Uh, I could, year. but I'm not going to do that. Okay. It's possible. Okay. But I'm not. I actually have a video on Mike McCarthy coming out, whether he is a genius or just a disrespected coach. So we'll see that coming out 
soon. Like, why is he so disrespected? He won a Super Bowl. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah. He's not yeah. a good coach. All right, guys, All right. Go fix my fence. Wow, I need a brand okay, new yes. fence. We're Stay done. Stay safe out there. We're done. Okay.